Hello there ladies and gentlemen and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's video is a simple basic tutorial on how to apply transfers to your model. Most of GW's models come with transfer sheets that you can use to help spice up your model rather than simply sticking to the paint job. These work great on any model that has large flat surfaces that don't have much in terms of decorations. Space Marine shoulder pads are great for these as well as knights as you can see from these three that I just finished. With the preamble out of the way, let's begin. Going over the tools you need for the job, you're going to need a brush, an X-Acto knife, a set of tweezers, some water, and preferably at least some matte varnish. Now, optionally, you can also have some gloss varnish and some micro set and micro saw. I'll go over why you want this optional stuff as it comes up. Not shown here is that you're also going to want a paper towel to be able to soak up some of the excess water. First thing you want to do is use the gloss varnish to cover the entire area where the transfer is going to be. Make sure you thin out the varnish a bit with water so that way it doesn't leave any streaks and cover the entire area so that way you don't have any part that is discolored compared to the rest. The reason we are using gloss is that it provides the best surface area for your decal to stick to compared to simply paint. Yes, it puts a shine on the model, but we can remove that at the end with a matte varnish. While the varnish is drying, cut out the desired decal from the sheet. You don't need to be exact on this, but make sure you leave enough room on the paper so that way you have a spot to grab it with the tweezers. From here, put the decal in some water. Ultimately, you want to let it sit for about two to five minutes. This will allow the decal to detach itself from the backing. You will know it's been long enough when you can gently slide the decal around with your brush. Once the decal can be moved, it's ready to be transferred. Apply Microset all over the desired area. Then gently use your brush and slide the decal off the backing onto the model. Once there, position the decal to where you want it to be. So long as it remains wet, it will be able to move. Now you can use water for this step instead of Microset. However, Microset does help the decal adhere better to the surface of the model. Once it's in the position you want, use your brush to soak up any excess liquid or a paper towel. After giving it a few minutes to dry, use Microsol on the decal, but be careful not to actually move it. This will help dissolve and thin out the decal a bit, giving it more of a painted on look rather than having it look like a sticker. Again, this is completely optional, especially on nights where the panels are pretty fairly flat. On Space Marine shoulder pads, however, this becomes more important as it helps the decal adhere to the shape better and definitely sees that painted on look. Once you're satisfied with how the decal looks, it's time to seal it in. You can use gloss varnish again if you like the look, but for me, I typically use matte varnish to remove the gloss effect. And that's it. It's an easy process that adds some character to your models and makes them more distinct on the tabletop. Hopefully you enjoyed that quick basic tutorial and that it was helpful in your own hobby projects. I'll see you next video.